Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry for being a little a little late. So it's good to see you again. How are you? Uh, me too. Uh, good, good, teacher. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. Hi, Darwin. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel today? It's very well. Oh, nice. It's good to know. Hi, Adriana. Hi, classmate and teacher. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? I go, teacher. Oh, and nice. you? I'm very well. Thank you very much. A little like I am running a little bit. I was a little, yes. well, I was on time. I was at eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was running a little bit, yeah, but I'm okay. All right. Let's see. We have Osmin and Mayra. Good evening, Mayra. Good evening, Osmin. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? i fine here in my home. Oh, nice. Very good. No better place than home, right? <laughs> yes, yes. All right. No mejor lugar, no better place. Sweet home. Yeah, sweet home. That's right. All right. So I have some people who have their cameras off. All right. So let's wait for them uh, just a moment, okay? Teacher, I'm cameras. driving to home. All right. Mayra, right? Mayra, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, just stay connected, please. Okay, stay connected. Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay, very good. Let's see Ingrid is writing that she is on the bus. Okay, Ingrid. It's fine. Just stay connected, please. All right. All right. Um, well, it's uh, uh, for today, uh, we have, we are going to study um, the comparative degree. Okay, and we are going to study uh, some conjunctions, okay? Some coordinating uh, conjunctions. So that's, maybe this is new for, for the majority, right? Maybe this is new for the majority, okay? So we have new content or new information for, for today. So please stay connected, all right? No se desconecten, stay connected, please, okay? All right, we are going to, well, so we have Asalia connected. Hi, Asalia, Ingrid, Lourdes. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. Good evening, Rafa. I have Ernesto Gomben again, <laughs> but I know oh, it's okay. Rafael. But I know it's Rafael. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Hello. Good evening. Oh, good evening. How are you today? Uh, fine. I think. Oh, nice. Very good. I have a question. Uh, well, you and Mayra are sisters, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, do you live in the same home or in different homes? We live in different homes. Ah, all right. I, I was like thinking, why yes. don't they get connected at the same time? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. very good. Okay, so uh, we are going to start. Uh, then let me start with the attendance quickly. Ada? Adriana? Present. Anna Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, present, present. All right, very good. Oh, oh my God, I said Angela is not connected. <laughs> no, but she's always... Yeah. Microphone. Yeah, I know you are always connected at this time. Darwin? Present teacher. Flor? Gloria? Joana? Lourdes? Present. Margarita. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, Mayra? Teacher. Oh, very good. Mayra? Mayra is connected, right? But she is driving. Yes, she's... present okay. teacher. Okay. Miguel? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Right on time. <laughs> Just on time. <laughs> Just on time. Right on time. Justo tiempo. Okay. Right on time. All right. Very okay. good. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Nelson? Ophelia? Present teacher. Uh, I, oh. I have a meeting in my world. Okay, uh, it's okay. I will uh, uh, listen. Okay, just stay connected, Nelson, please. Okay? 
Thank you. All right. Ophelia? Osmin? Good teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Rafa? I saw Rafa connected. I don't know what happened to him. Present. Oh, he's Present. connected. Okay, very good. Are you busy, Rafa? Present. Driving? Are you driving? Present. Yes, are you driving? I think he has bad connection. Okay. Uh, Rosa? Present. Present. Yeah, it's okay, Rafa. Uh, we listen to you. It's okay. I put the attendance for you, Rafa. Don't worry. Okay. Um, let me see, Sandra. Jansi. Present. Pres present, teacher. I'm on the way. Yeah, it's okay. Yes. It's okay. I put the attendance. Don't worry. Okay. Jansi is not connected, yes. right? Okay. Sulma. Yes. Oh, I think he has connection problems. Rafa, we put the attendance for you. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, let's see, Sulma, Asalia, present, all right, very good, Ingrid, I think she's connected, right, and Susana, all right, very good, uh, okay, so, um, Ah, Gloria is connected. Okay, so I, I put the attendance the second time, Gloria. Okay, very good. Uh, so um, so we are going to start uh, then today's class. And as I said, okay, for today, uh, we have a new information, I guess, for everyone. Okay, and or maybe for the majority, okay, because we have uh, comparatives and we have coordinating conjunctions for today. Okay, so we have two different topics, but very interesting and useful topics for today. All right, so let's start uh, with the first uh, part. And before we go over uh, to the first topic, uh, I want to show you, okay, something which is uh, related to today's topic, okay? I really like pictures. So I want you to take a moment and look at this picture. Look at the picture for a moment, please. And uh, tell me, what do you see? A meeting. A meeting. What else do you see? Presentation. There is a presentation. OK, what else? A meeting. There is a presentation. OK, what else do you see? Maybe financial, financial. Information. Ah, they're they're giving financial information. Very good. Or they are discussing maybe financial information. Very good. What else? Maybe a brainstorm. Maybe a brainstorm. Ah, they are having a brainstorming of ideas. Okay, for a project, maybe right? A brainstorming mm -hmm. of ideas for a project. Okay, thank you, yeah. Rosa. Uh, anybody else? What do you see? For persons that are working. Okay, that's right. For people who are working, that's awesome. Um, so how many people are sitting down? How many people are sitting down? Three. Three, Three people, that's right. Three people are sitting down. How many Three. people are standing up? One. Only one. one. Only one, only one. Is it a lady and or a one boy? One people, one, one person. person. One person, exactly. A boy or a lady? Lady. Lady. Sure you are in mute. No, no, I'm not. I don't know if you can listen to me. Can you listen to me? Can you listen to me, everyone? everyone? Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 yes, I listen. All right, I'm not mute. Maybe the, the volume of your device is the problem. Okay, check the volume, yes. please. Yes, yes, thank you. Okay, very good. Uh, so, um, uh, you tell me that you see three people sitting down, one person standing up, all right. Uh, now, uh, let's talk about their positions, okay? Uh, look at the woman standing up. What do you think it's uh, her profession? Accounting. Uh, she's an accountant, maybe, all right. Any other idea? The engineer. 
Maybe she's an engineer. All right, what else? How do you say mercadologa? <laughs> Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe you can say uh, a marketing specialist. Yeah, marketing specialist. Yes. All right, very good. Uh, what else? Only that. Okay. Now, uh, look at the three uh, people here. Look at the three people sitting down, okay? The three people are using a computer, right? Yeah? What do you think their position in the company is? What is their position in the company? Auxiliary in accounting okay maybe they are accountant assistants what else teacher teacher yeah? i think uh, the three person with the same uh, uniforms yeah only one is a different oh it's different. true i didn't see that okay it's true you're, you're correct okay three people have the same uniform mm -hmm. and one girl yes. sitting down has yeah. uh, has different clothes all right so why this is the, the, the one person because is the boss. Uh, the boss. Uh, yes, is the, mm -hmm. I uh -huh. think it's the boss. And the others and, are employees. And the others, yes, others is employees and let the, uh, let the uh, explanation. Okay, it's so explanation. Okay, that's right. Okay, basically an employee is giving an idea, maybe, right? An employee is giving an idea, okay? And the lady sitting down with the red uh, vest, maybe she's the, the manager or the, the boss, all right? You're right, okay? I, I hadn't seen that. No había visto eso, I hadn't seen that. All right, very good. What do you think the woman standing up is talking about? What do you think the woman standing up is talking about? What is she talking about? A new idea. A new idea, right? A new idea. Maybe she's talking about a new idea. What else? She's talking about statistics. All uh, right. About the, the enterprise. Nice. Yeah, maybe she's talking about statistics because we have a, yes, a graph. Graphic. We have a graph. Oh. That's right. We have a graph. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, and we have a, a light, right? Which is maybe she's giving an idea. Okay, very good. Um, where do you think the meeting is taking place? Where is the meeting taking place or happening? Where is the meeting happening? In a, in a room. In a room. In where a do you meeting think? Meeting room? No, in a meeting, meeting room. room. Yeah. Meeting, meeting room. room. Yes, that's right. It's in a meeting room okay that's perfect that's very good okay very good now listen uh well basically i like these kind of ideas because these kind of pictures or describing these pictures maybe maybe it's very simple right but it opens your mind okay to english and I, that's why i really like this okay as uh, you have yeah like like the, the opportunity uh to give your own ideas or what you think about the pictures okay so i really love this and i and I think it's very useful for you to learn vocabulary, okay? So uh, very good. Thank you very much for your participation in this. And now we are going to uh, start with the first important, well, everything is important, right? But we are going to start with the first important part of this class. Okay. So here, please pay attention carefully, okay? Here, please pay attention carefully if you are doing something stop stop doing that all right if you are cooking stop cooking if you are eating don't stop eating but pay attention okay don't stop eating but pay attention please all right so let's begin so listen maybe um in the past maybe you have studied uh comparatives okay and here we have the topic comparatives okay very good so what is the idea of a comparative first Okay, to start, the idea of a comparative is to compare, to compare people or things or animals. I repeat, the idea of the comparative is to compare people, things, or animals, all right? And the, the first important part we need is adjectives. We need adjectives, okay? And adjectives, describe a person or a thing or an animal for example when i say beautiful happy sad um tall short 
old, big, small, pretty. Okay, so all these words describe, okay? So an adjective describes a noun or a person or a thing or a place. All right, so that's an adjective. Okay, now listen. Uh, to compare, we have some rules, okay? So first we have one syllable adjectives, old, fast. So these adjectives have one syllable, right? Old, fast. Old, one syllable. Fast, one syllable. Okay. And second, we have two syllable adjectives. For example, happy, two syllables. E, Z, two syllables. Okay. And when they finish with Y, we have a, spe a special rule. Okay. Let's start with the first variation. In the first variation, okay, we put, uh, let me see here, we put, to compare, we put ER to the majority of uh, adjectives, okay? One syllable adjectives. So if I want to say old, which is mayor or viejo, right? In the comparative, I say older, which is más viejo. For example, I can say my car is older. Mi carro es más viejo. My car is older, okay? Second variation. If we have a, um, an adjective which ends in E, un adjetivo que termina en E, solo le ponemos la R. Late, later, okay? In this case, for example, late, later, all right? Third, tercero, number three. Uh, for short adjectives or one syllable adjectives, para adjetivos de una sílaba, and they have, for example, they have Consonant, vowel, consonant, for example, big. B is a consonant, I is a vowel, and G is a consonant. Consonant, vowel, consonant. One syllable, we double the last consonant and put ER. Duplicamos la última consonante y le ponemos ER, bigger, más grande, bigger, all right? And we can have other words here. Aquí podemos tener otras variantes, otras palabras, sorry. We can have other words. For example, the word hat. What is hat? What is hat? Caliente. Caliente o cálido. Ok, calor, caliente. Look. Consonant. Vowel. Consonant. So I put harder. Le duplico la última consonante. Harder. Ok. Yeah. Very good. Now. These are one syllable adjectives, okay? Estos son adjetivos de una sílaba. These are one syllable adjectives, okay? But now let's go to two syllable adjectives. Vamos a adjetivos de dos sílabas. Happy, happy, two syllables, all right? Now listen, if these adjectives finish in Y, okay, and there is a consonant before, consonant Y, consonant Y, so I kill the Y, voy a matar la letra Y, I kill the Y, y le pongo I, and I say happier. Do you have another adjective like this? ¿Tienen otro adjetivo como este? Funny, funny for example. Uh -huh. Okay, funny, for example, we have uh, funny, all right, uh, I say, so I kill the Y and, I, and in the comparative, I say funnier, okay? Más divertido, funnier. Yeah. Pretty? Exactly, we have the adjective pretty, right? So pretty, okay, I say uh, prettier, all right? I think it's double T. So I kill the Y, le quito la Y y le pongo I-E-R. I put E, uh, I mean I-E-R, prettier. Okay, so I repeat. The majority adjectives, for the, for the majority of adjectives, you put ER, one syllable, all right? If they end in E, si terminan en E, solo les pongo la R. I put the letter R. If they have consonant, vowel, consonant, what do I do? I double the last consonant and put ER. Le duplico la última consonante y le pongo ER. I put ER. Um, and finally, consonant and Y, 
I kill the Y and I say I E R, happier, prettier, funnier. All right? Yeah. Okay. But listen, something important here. We are going to use the word done to compare. Okay? Done, done. Okay, now let me write one example for you. Use applying the applying the, the, the rules, okay? Let me write one example for you, but I will get the board. Imagine I say, my car, for example, okay, my car uh, is, and I say older, mi carro está más viejo, older, I say then, older than, más viejo que, older than your car, okay? So my car is older than your car, all right? My car is older than your car. Very good. Now I will say pretty, okay, pretty, all right? Your house, for example, I can say your house, or I can say your, let me see, yeah, I can say your house, okay? Your house is, is prettier, okay, than, okay, prettier than, okay, más bonita que, prettier than uh, mine, okay, mm -hmm. prettier, prettier than mine, okay, very good. And now let's see one example using B, okay, um, I can say, for example, um, my room, my room is bigger uh, than, okay, bigger than, bigger than my uh, sisters, for example, okay? My sisters. My room is bigger than my sisters. Mi cuarto es más grande que el de mi hermana. My room is bigger than my sisters, okay? And finally, finally, we have long adjectives. Long adjectives like what? Common, for example, um, like beautiful, right? Like, um, tell me another long adjective, please. Do we have another adjective which is long? Intelligent. Intelligent. Okay, that's, that's good. So listen, for this, I am going to say more, okay, more. For example, I can say um, my, my brother is more intelligent than my sister. More intelligent than my brother is more intelligent than my sister. Or I can say um, what? My, my city is more beautiful than your city. My city is more, more beautiful than your city. Okay. So do you have any question? Yes. In, in the adjective teacher, then to then have two syllables, you can uh, use more in this case. If they don't finish in why? If they don't okay. finish in Y, like, for example, pre ri has two syllables, right? Yes. But we have a specific rule for these adjectives, okay? So you say okay. prettier or funnier. But uh -huh, if... I don't have a porque eh, veía el adjetivo eh, common. Common. Uh -huh, exactly. Common is, common is two syllables, okay? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mm -hmm. finish with Y, pero no termina con letra Y. Mm -hmm. So I say more mm -hmm. common. More okay. common. Okay. Thank you. All right. Do we have any other question? Do we have any other question? No? Okay. Sí. Yeah. Yes, Ada. O sea que este de common, el, el ejemplo que acaba de dar, que dice que more common, ¿verdad? Y yeah. se le puede, y se le agrega dan. Dan, dan. O solo, o solo more common. No, no. Listen. Uh, we put down to all comparatives because we are comparing two people, two things, or two animals. Siempre le vamos a poner el then después del comparativo porque estamos comparando dos cosas, o dos personas, o dos animales, okay? For example, my sister is um, taller 
taller than my brother, for example, okay? So I put than my brother because I am comparing, porque estoy comparando, I am comparing, okay? Uh, ese than significa que, en este caso, que, pero para comparar, but for comparing, okay? So do we have any other questions? Gracias. Okay. Do we have any other question? No more questions? ¿Quieren que les ponga la cajita para que le hagan captura? Oh, yes. Por favor. Yes, Osmin. Yes, tell me, Osmin. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay, teacher. Only uh, a question. Yeah, tell me, uh, Osmin. Okay. It's correct when I see, I say my brother is more tall than my sister? No, because tall is one syllable, tall. Tall. Ah, yeah. And oh. for one syllable adjectives, we put er. Le ponemos el, la er. We put er. Taller. taller. O taller. Yeah. yeah, it's what we have here. Es lo que tenemos acá. Si tienen, una, si tienen solamente una sílaba, solo les ponemos er. We put er. Okay? So you when, say taller. When you are, mm -hmm. are, and um, one syllable. Hey, hey. Es que no, no, er. no me dice nadie, pero no lo tengo. Dame. Sorry. Uh, can you Thank repeat you. it, please, Osmi? Yes, uh, when the words uh, only have one uh -huh. syllable, uh, I put R. ER, ER, exactly, exactly. Exactly. Okay. Wow. Except, 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 thank you, thank you. Okay. Give me a second. Okay, I am muting people. Creo que se les olvida ponerle mute. mute. Okay, but I, I did it already. Okay, very good. So, uh, yes, Osmin. So, basically, it's uh, ER in general, except Osmin and everybody, except if you have these uh, adjectives. Los que van en consonante, vocal, consonante, consonant, vowel, consonant, okay? Que se le duplica la última consonante. And you put ER, okay? So, big, okay. bigger, okay. double consonant. Hot, hotter, double consonant, okay? Hot. Yeah. Hotter, okay, double consonant, okay? Yeah, exactly, thank you. All right, very good. So do we have any other question? No? No questions? Solo quizás confirmar, teacher, a yeah, ver okay. si he entendido bien. Eh, more se va a ocupar solo en los casos que sean adjetivos de dos sílabas que no terminen en Y. Yes. Y eh, ese es el que va a servir como para comparar, mientras que... En los casos como, por ejemplo, que son de una sílaba o terminan en Y, se aplican las reglas para decir es más que la otra persona o la cosa o el, el lugar o el animal. Ajá, Así. exactly. Ajá, se ponemos el ER. We put ER. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for two or more syllables, okay, para, para los, de, los que tienen dos o más sílabas, two or more syllables, because we have beautiful three syllables or intelligent, four syllables, mm -hmm. for example, okay? In esos casos, so two or yes, more. more. Mm -hmm. Exactly, more intelligent than, more beautiful than, okay? okay? More handsome than, more common than, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. all right. So do we have any other question? You can ask your questions right now, okay? In this moment, this is the moment for questions. No? Everything okay? All right. So if you want, you can make a screenshot. Si quieren, pueden hacer una captura aquí. You can make a screenshot here. Okay. Now, uh, let me show you what we have on the, um, on the manual, okay? On the manual, uh, we have this little chart, okay? And we have some examples, okay? We have this little chart and we have some examples about restaurants. Okay, let's see. Angela, can you read um, example number one, please, here? The buffet restaurant on the corner. Yes, teacher. Um, you see the compar comparative form, the adjective. Just read, just read the example, Angela. Just read the example. Ah, okay, okay. The buffet. The buffet restaurant on the corner is sharper than the one on Main Street. Okay, cheaper than is the comparative, right? Cheaper than. than. Más barato que. Cheaper than. Um, 
Okay, thank you very much. Lourdes, can you read example number two, please? Okay. Um, the waiters at the French toast are faster than the waiters at the Bon Café. Okay, thank you very much. Faster than is the comparative, right? Más rápidos que. Okay. So and we are comparing two, uh, two waiters, right? Uh, the waiters are from French toast and from Bon Café. All right. So we are comparing uh, people. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And in number one, we are comparing the buffet restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's read the other example. Okay. Let's listen to, um, let me see here. Anna Michelle, can you read the, the next example, please? All restaurants. Yes, all restaurants are more beautiful than new restaurants. Very good. The comparative is more beautiful, more beautiful than. And we are comparing all restaurants and new restaurants, right? Yeah. So all restaurants are more beautiful than new restaurants. Okay, thank you, Michelle. Thank you very much. And let's see. Uh, let's listen to Rosa. Can you read example number four, please? Specialty dishes. <laughs> Specialty dishes are more expensive than the rest of the menu. Very good. So we have the comparative more expensive than. Más caro, okay, more expensive than. And we are comparing specialty dishes and the rest of the menu, right? Yeah. So uh, do you still have any questions? Oh, something important. Uh, yeah, questions? In este caso, teacher, se usan using uh, both uh, palabras more and done. Yes, we use more and done in the and adjective. And the adjective. Why? More done and the adjective because we are comparing. Because we are comparing. Uh, aquí usamos more porque el adjetivo tiene más de dos sílabas, dijimos, dos o más sílabas, okay? So we use more, no le ponemos er. We don't say beautiful or, or expensive, or, no, right? Because we have two or more syllables. Beautiful, three syllables. So I say usamos more como es. Exactly. Usamos el verbo como es. El adjetivo como es y le ponemos more. Because he has two or more syllables. Porque tienen dos o más sílabas. Okay, thank yeah? you. Yeah? Okay, no problem. Okay, any other question? No? Okay, uh, pay attention to this one better than in this case we have the adjective good but we don't say gooder no we don't say gooder okay we say better okay este es un irregular así como los verbos irregulares es un adjetivo irregular it's an irregular adjective okay so don't say gooder you say better in the comparative okay my computer is better than other computers, for example, better than, okay? Questions or no questions or there, everything? There are, more, there are more adjectives irregular. Yes, oh yes, we have more. We have um, more. You, do yes. you have a, a list of these adjectives? I can give you some quickly, all right? I can give you some quickly. They don't appear on this topic, but I can give you some quickly. Uh, for example, we have bad. You don't say bother, you say? worse okay uh, for example for the adjective far which is lejos you say farther for example okay bad malo worse uh, peor digamos so no decimos más malo right we say peor okay uh, far lejos farther más lejos so they are irregular okay by now stay with those ahorita solo quedémonos con eso Let's stay with those, all right? Those are the most common ones. Okay, so any question? Any other question? No questions? Worse is peor que. Peor que, that's right, peor. So my computer is worse than your computer, for example. For example, you can say my computer is worse than your computer. Mi, comp mi computadora es peor que la tuya. It's worse than your computer, okay? Yeah. Or you, or I can say, for example, Santa Ana is farther 
than San Salvador from here, desde acá. Santa Ana is farther okay, than San Salvador. Okay. So are we clear now? Yes. Yes. Okay. So it's time to work. Now listen, this exercise is on page number 10. Page number 10 on the manual, exercise number six. The idea is that you complete the sentences with the adjective in parentheses, okay? Like for example, number one, delivery is, and we have the adjective that is convenient. Convenient, how many syllables? Convenient, three, three syllables, so I say more. Uh, delivery mm -hmm. is more convenient than take out, for example, okay? So I said, page number 10, exercise number six. Are you ready to work? Yeah, I will give you like three minutes, okay? Or four minutes. So in three or four minutes, uh, work in groups and complete the exercise. Any question before we go to break our rooms? Any question before we go to break our rooms? No questions? No? No teacher. No, no. teacher. All right. No teacher. Then let's go to break our rooms. Hi. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Don Amin. How oh, are you? I am fine here in my home. And you? Excellent. Um, cool. Okay, thank you, Lord. Okay. Entiendo que solo se le va a poner, se va a agregar ahí en lo que está entre paréntesis, shit. Por ejemplo, en, for example, number two, their beverages are more cheap than the ones from their box. And the, the number two, they. Yes. And um, number three. Sorry for the interruption. Ah, uh, cheap, yeah. cheap. How many syllables in the adjective cheap, Asalia? Cheap, 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 cheap. Count the syllables. Contemos las sílabas. Cheap. Um, cheap. two. No, cheap, cheap. One. One, one. syllables. One syllable is ah, correct. Okay. So it's one syllable. If we have one syllable, we don't put more. We put. Er. er or er so you say what's mean you say then cheaper cheaper exactly okay all right cheaper, cheaper exactly entonces sería they de beverage, de beverage are, are... are more cheaper that mm, no. if you put er you don't have to put more asalia you only say cheaper ah, okay it's not necessary to more, say more no. okay no it's not necessary more is only for two or three syllable adjectives, okay? Mm -hmm. More common, more beautiful, okay? Okay. Yeah. Cheaper. Exactly. Uh, cheaper than. Are cheaper that. Exactly. Because you have this. Number, number three are Roman. Roman? No. Cheer. Romantic that. Okay. Oh, okay. Number three, fresh restaurant are 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 more. Uh, fresh restaurant are are romantic. Romantic. That. Romantic. Ah, okay. Thank How you. many syllables? Um, one, two, three. Three. Exactly. Romantic. Three syllables. So what do you three. say? Ah, three. Uh, three syllables. 
So what do you use? ¿Qué usamos entonces? What do you use? Can you say romantic? More. Ah, exactly. More. Asalia. So ah, you say more yeah, romantic yeah. than. Ah. Más romántico o romántica que. Ok. Yes. Yeah, I am in a teacher, no, no, no many attention. Sorry? Es que estaba cenando y casi no presté atención, pero más o menos eso le entendí. Ah, ok, okay. perfect. It's ok, we are going to check together, don't worry. Porque es que vine bien noche, cabal, vine a las ocho. Oh my goodness. En mi trabajo, oh, cierre, de, cierre de mes. Y... Ah, Dios mío. Cabal. Entonces estaba medio comiendo algo ahorita, pero ah, okay. al menos le entiendo. Ah, ok. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask, ok? Si hay preguntas, no duden en preguntar luego. Ok. All right. Thank you you yeah. ask for help, ok? So let me visit another group and continue working. And the restaurant. Uh, teacher, uh, I have a dude. A doubt. In the second. You have a doubt. doubt. Number two. What doubt. is your doubt? Uh, uh, we, we, we put a cheaper and I don't have is WP or not WP. No, no, because as you can see, the, the, the adjective cheap, it doesn't, finish, it doesn't finish in consonant, vowel consonant, right? Uh -huh. The double consonant era para los que terminan en consonant, vowel, consonant. And this is vowel, oh. vowel, consonant. It's different. Yes. The ending it's is different. different. Okay. It's different. Yeah, it's okay. It's cheaper. Okay. Teacher, exactly. this condition is only <coughs> one syllable. Can you... Sorry? Esa condición? This no. condition? We have, is... a, we have for two syllables too. But when the, stress, ah. when the stress is on the second syllable... También se puede para dos sílabas, um, pero cuando yeah. el, la mayor fuerza de voz está en la segunda sílaba. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, the next, ok. Uh, in the fight, their service is faster than. Faster, uh -huh. faster than. Then. Uh, then. Uh -huh. Ok. Hay tres espacios, pero vea que es only their service is faster than the restaurant. We went to last week. Yes. Nos está poniendo una trampa. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> we have an extra space. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. yeah, but don't pay attention to that. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher, que hay una cascarita? Oh my goodness, now you put me, you put me in trouble. <laughs> Maybe okay, you can say, uh, there, there is a trick, maybe. There is a trick. Oh, okay, there is a trick. Yeah, okay. there is a trick. Hay un truco, hay un truquito. There is a trick. Yeah. Okay. There is a trick. Okay. Uh, hmm. The last one, the the last... Last one. The, uh, um, this the, is a more the thing. Is two, two is more. 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 Uh, ably, ably. I, appealing. The one, oh. Mm -hmm. Hi, teacher. Hello. I am confused. Tell me, what is your confusion? With number five. Yes. Ah, because you have three spaces. Yes. <laughs> no, but it's correct. It's a little trick. Ah, okay, okay. The things that, the things that maybe... Teacher, too. Yeah, the things that in the activity, they were not supposed to put is, but they put is, all right? That's the problem. Uh -huh. so the, the space is for ease, supposedly, all right? But there is a, a, a little error. But don't pay attention to that. Your sentence is correct. Okay. Yeah. This is the answer. Okay. We are, we are going to check in a moment all together. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank just you. Just let me visit another group, okay? Because they're asking for help. You finish, right? You can practice the sentences if you want. Okay. 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 All right. Thank you. Tell me. Hello, teacher. Hello, tell me. Uh, teacher, um, eh, estaba leyendo. I was reading. <laughs> Me cuesta eh, pensar en inglés. Yeah, it's, okay. it's okay, it's a process. 
Yeah, tell me. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. And the second, uh, they very, very, very anxious, I correct pronunciation. Beverages. Beverages, Beverages are Beverages. more. Uh -huh. Is mm. are, are more or is cheaper than? Are cheaper than. Cheaper than. Are okay. cheaper than. Okay. Are cheaper than. Okay. Exactly. A, a, is a, 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 er, a, er, 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 cheaper, er, cheaper, er, than. cheaper okay. than. Because it's one syllable, cheap, cheap, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, cheap. Okay. And number three, uh, French restaurants are more romantic than? Exactly. Sport. Yeah, it's correct. Okay. And, and four is more complete than? Exactly. In exactly. the in five, their service is faster than? Exactly. It's, it's okay. Faster uh, than. Okay. And the six, uh, more appealing than? Yes, that's right. It's correct. Okay. You Thank finished. Thank you, teacher. You finish. Okay, very good. That's excellent. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, we are about to go back to the main session then because I can see the majority of you finished. Okay, so let's yes. go back to the main session. Hi, Rafael. No había llegado a casa todavía. <laughs> Okay, everyone. Uh, well, I guess uh, everybody uh, finished uh, with the activity, right? So did everyone finish? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. teacher. Yes. Okay, so here I have some names of uh, one member of some of the groups, okay? One member of some of the groups to chair the sentences, okay? But with the answer. So you read the sentences with the answer, okay? So let's see, uh, number one, Osmin. Okay, so Osmin, you help us with number one. Number two, Miguel. Okay, Miguel, you help us with number two. Uh, number three, Susana. Okay, Susana, are you there? Yes. Susana, hello there. I think she's not here. Okay, uh, who was uh, practicing with Susana? Me? Oh, she's coming, she's coming, sorry. She's coming, I think. No, she's not coming yet. Who was practicing with Ah, Susana is here. Hi, Susana. Hello, Hi. Susana. Hello, you have number three, okay? You share number three. Okay. Okay. Number three. Number four, lower this. Lower this? Okay. Number five, Sandra. And number six, Rafael. And the rest, please pay attention and we check if the sentences are correct or incorrect, okay? So let's start with number one, Osmin. Okay, teacher. Delivery is more convenient than take out. Okay, take out, only, no, only that convenient. Okay, only that convenience is extra. You use convenient, okay? Uh, you only say delivery is more convenient than take out. And and okay. Take out. okay. Thank you, Osmin, thank you very much. Number two, yeah. uh, Miguel. And number two, yes. your beverages are cheaper than ones from Starbucks. Can you repeat it, please? Their beverages are cheaper than the ones from Starbucks. Okay, very good. So you say are um, cheaper than. Are cheaper right? than. Cheaper than. Okay, that's excellent. Cheaper that's the than. answer. Okay. Cheaper than. Cheaper than. Cheaper okay, than. thank you. Okay. Thank you, Miguel. Thank you very much. Number three, Susana. Okay, number three. French restaurants are more romantic than fast food restaurants. All right, more romantic than fast food restaurants. 
Yes. Okay, okay very good. It's true. Yeah, so, it's true. Um, <laughs> I have my doubts. All right. In a, I think in our country is different. It's the opposite. In our country, right? Maybe yes. I don't know. Maybe right? I don't know. Uh, okay, because couples go to fast food restaurants most of the times. Okay, but anyways, let's see number four. Lourdes. Okay, the buffet at Minlin's restaurant is more complete than chance. Exactly, more complete than. Okay, thank you very much. That's perfect. All right, let's see number five. So Sandra, sorry, Sandra has number five. Their service, the microphone, Sandra. The mi turn on the microphone, Sandra, please. Okay, say it again. Their service is faster than the restaurants we went to last week. Faster than, exactly, faster than. Thank you very much, Sandra, that's correct. Okay, Agnes, the last one. Number six, uh, Rafael. The ambulance in Javi's kitchen is more appealing than the food they sell. All right, more appealing than the food they sell, more appealing than, that's correct. The ambience in Javi's kitchen, sorry, is more appealing than, all right, more appealing than, very good. What is ambience? Any idea? Ambience. Ambiente. ambiente. El ambiente, right? The atmosphere. Very good. And what is appealing? Es atractivo, interesante. Yes, atractivo. It's, I stay with atractivo, right? So appealing, all right? An appealing place is a, a very attractive place, all right? So thank you very much for your answers. Okay. Now, uh, for, the, for this, and thank you for the participation. So please, everybody, go to reactions before we go to the next activity. And let's give participants a wow. All right, let's give participants a wow. Okay, a wow. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for more wows. All right. I don't know if this emoji represents a wow, but that's I that's how I see I see it. Right? That's how I see it. All right. Thank you very much for your participations. Now listen. Um, we are going to quickly, quickly. I want you to think for two or three minutes. Take two or three minutes here in the main session and think about restaurant services and write them on your notebook. Okay. Write restaurant services on your notebooks, okay? Um, for example, uh, what restaurant services can you see? Buffet, uh, as we have studied, okay, delivery, takeout. These are restaurant services, okay? So please write restaurant services on your notebook. Three minutes, two or three minutes, all right? So start, please. Start. Only in a restaurant. Only in a restaurant. Restaurants. Nate? No, restaurant services, not the name of the restaurants, restaurant services they offer or services they offer, okay? What services do restaurants offer? Okay, for example, uh, take out food uh, or take away uh, delivery service or um, customer service, I don't know, all right, yeah. Bitcoin service. Now you can add Bitcoin service, all right? That's a service. So you pay with Bitcoins, okay? <laughs> Credit cards, all right? I can see Jancy is not connected again, right? Rafael, any idea why she is not connected? 
No, no idea. I ask you because I know you are co-workers. Uh, we can hear you, Rafa. I don't know if you have a problem with your microphone or something. Okay. We don't hear you. You have no audio, Rafael. Okay, teacher. Now, now I can hear you. Ah. Ahora sí, now I can hear you. I don't have idea what happened with Yancy. Ah, okay. She doesn't say me nothing. Okay, let me check. Maybe she texted me. Tomorrow I will remember. Okay. Recording in progress. <laughs> Okay, please stop everybody, please stop. Okay, stop what you're doing. All right, let's see. Um, Gloria, can you tell me one service you have? Well, only one, okay, one service that you uh, wrote. Okay, driver, driver in two. Sorry? Drive, drive, drive in two. Driving, okay, driving, driving two. Yes, out of service. Mm, uh -huh. no. mm, maybe in this case you can say uh, take away. I think it's take away, right? A better, a better word for that. Okay, take away, take away service. Okay, oh, okay. take away okay. service. Yeah. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Uh, Anna Michelle, can you say one please? One service you have? Uh, buffet service. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, only one. It's okay. Only one. Okay, buffet service. I feel like you want to give another one. It's okay. One is enough. Ophelia, can you give one, please? Hello, Ophelia. Oh, I think she's not there. Okay, Adriana, can you give one service, please? Yes, uh, online payment. That's right. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, Darwin, do you have one service? Uh, promotion of dessert. Promotions of dessert. Okay, very good. Or desserts. Okay, that's excellent. Uh, let's see, Rosa, do you have one? Uh, self service. Sorry? Self service. Okay, that's very good. Self service. I like it. Mm -hmm. Rafa, do you have one? Maybe a sip. Accept payment with Chivo. Okay, Chivo with the Chivo wallet service. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see, lower this. Do you have one? Yes, uh, spaces and ambience 
for wedding anniversaries or romantic dates? Yes, that's right. Special rooms for special events. Okay, thank you very much. Ada, do you have one? Uh, food inside. Food in? Inside. Creo que sí. Comida la vista. Ah. On site. On site. Uh -huh, on site. All right, very good. Uh, let's see. Um, Ophelia. So, Ophelia, do you have one? No, teacher. No, all right. Do you have one service? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you say it, please? Um, a service. I guess you can uh, comida china. ¿Cómo se dice? Chinese food. Chinese food. All right, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, who wants to give another service? One that is different from the ones we mentioned. Sus uh, Susana. Susana, do you want to give okay. one service? Yes. Private lunch for meetings. Oh, nice. I like it. Very good. Do we have another uh, service that we didn't mention? Delivery. Reservation. Delivery, Reservation. reservations. That's right. Or booking. Uh, oh, books. Books. Booking. That's okay. right. What else? Shall we pull okay. quick? Oh. Food, okay, uh, quick food service. All right, yeah. very good. What else? Service 24 hours. That's right, 24 seven service, 24 seven. Exactly. De delivery online. Exactly, online delivery. Okay, that's, that's good, I like it. Nice, okay. So basically we have different services, right? We have different services. Now listen, uh, to use the comparatives, I will ask you some questions, okay? I will ask you some questions, but you will answer using a complete sentence with the comparative. For example, imagine I ask you, imagine, right? Imagine I ask you, um, what is more expensive? Nike shoes or Adidas shoes? Nike shoes or Adidas shoes? And then you tell me in the example, teacher, I think Adidas shoes are more expensive than Nike shoes, all right? By using the whole structure, usando la estructura completa. Yeah? So I repeat, the question, my question will be, for example, uh, what is more expensive, Adidas shoes or Nike shoes? Answer, Adidas shoes are more expensive than Nike shoes, all right? Is it clear what you have to do? So please, if you have the answer, go to reactions and raise your hand. I repeat, if you have the answer, go to reactions and raise your hand, all right? Are you ready? Yeah? All right. <laughs> the first adjective is using tall, tall. Tall is alto o alta, right? Um, who do you think is taller? Asalia Melanie or Darwin? Who do you think is taller, Asalia Melanie or Darwin? Darwin, Darwin is like, <laughs> okay, lower this. Uh, I think that uh, Darwin is taller than Asalia. Great, way to go, that's excellent. Repeat the example for everybody, please. Um, Darwin is taller than Asalia. All right, let's see. Um, uh, what's your height, Darwin? What's your height? ¿Cuál es tu altura? What's your height? In centimeters, please. He's, he's <laughs> pequeñito. <laughs> he's short. De, de 1.90. 1.90. 190. And you, Asalia? Two meters. <laughs> No, and you are only 157. Yeah, so the information. Chaparrita. So, so the information is true. Me too, So the information is true. Me too, me We are minions. Yeah, me too. You see my face, and and you can imagine that I am tall, but I am very short. Okay. Okay, very good. So, um, how do you say chaparrita in English? Little, maybe you can say a key holder. Key holder is Javero, key holder, key holder. Okay, but, but it doesn't apply for this context, okay? Pero no aplica para ese context, so it doesn't apply for this context, okay? Just, uh, just to clarify, all right, just to clarify. 
<laughs> I am Cesofelia Yo Quiris. Yo sí fui un llavero, teacher. Oh, really? Mi papá de mis hijos es alto, de un 80. Oh, fui my llavero de él. <laughs> But I don't, I don't know why, but just going to another topic. I don't know why, but I like to see couples, I mean, in which the man is very tall and the woman is short. I don't know why they look. I, I like to see this uh, in my case. In my right? case. In my case. <laughs> okay. In my case, my, my wife is tall and I am a little tall too. So we are the same, kind of the same height. Okay. But I see many es cases and I like it. <laughs> okay. Second question. Okay, so the information is too. So Darwin is taller than Asalia Melanie, okay? And Lourdes gave the answer, right? Yes, so thank you very much, Lourdes. Okay, second question. Um, rich. The adjective is rich. What is rich? Rico. Rico. rico, rico, all right, rico, but rico about money, right? Not about food, it's about money, right? It's about money. Okay, um, who do you think is richer? Who do you think is richer? Bill Gates or Barack Obama? I think, I think Bill that Gates. Bill Gates. Okay, Ana Michelle, I think... I think that Bill Gates is richer than uh, Barack Obama. Okay, that's good. I don't know if Bill Gates is still alive, but okay, but yeah, yeah, but that sen the sentence is, is, is okay, all right? Thank you very much, Anime. So, so Bill Gates is richer than Barack Obama, it's true, okay? Next question. Uh, for the next question, I will use um, the word big, big, big. Okay, big. Um, what planet do you think? What planet do you think it's bigger, the Earth or Jupiter? Jupiter is more girl. Oh, okay, yeah. Osmin, yeah. Osmin, can you share the sentence? Jupiter is. I, yes, uh, Jupiter. Um, I think Jupiter is is than bigger. Is bigger than. Is, is bigger than the Earth. The earth. The earth. Repeat the sentence, please. I think. I think Jupiter. Uh, Jupiter. Jupiter is is bigger than, is bigger, bigger than the earth. Than the earth. Okay. So what about the others? What do you think? Is the information correct or incorrect? Correct. It's correct. It's correct. Okay. Let's see an extra. Right. Okay. Very good. It's correct. One more question. Um. Okay, let me see. Which country do you think it's colder? Colder. What is cold? Cold is frio, right? What, which country do you think is colder? El Salvador or Canada? I think Canada is colder than El Salvador. Very good. That's excellent. Okay, that's, that's very good. Um, what do you think is more delicious? more listen more more delicious all right what do you think is more delicious hamburgers from wendy's or hamburgers from burger king hamburger burger, <laughs> burger king okay yes. then you say hamburgers I think, okay Russell? I, I think that hamburgers that bur that from hamburgers from burger kings are more delicious than hamburger from wendy's from Wendy's. All right, that's I confirm. Yeah, that's true for me. That's true for me. Okay, I confirm. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Now, um, the last question. Okay, the last question. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Who is using a computer here? Who is using a laptop computer? Who is okay, Adriana? Yes. All right. Whose computer do you think is smaller? Whose computer do you think is smaller? Adriana's computer or Bernardo's computer? Ta -ta -ta -ta. Yeah. Whose computer is smaller? Adriana's or Bernardo's computer? What do you think? Is smaller? Smaller? Pequeña. Pequeña. Más pequeña. Más pequeña. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? 
Yes, please. Yes. I don't know. Okay, Miguel, you don't know. Give a guess. <laughs> give me, give me the, the measures. The measures. No, I can tell you. Try to guess. What do you think? Okay, let me give you the the measures of my computer. Okay. Uh, so my computer is like um like 12 inches okay 12 inches okay big 12 inches uh wide all right 12 inches what about yours adiana how many inches cuántas pulgadas how many inches i don't Five. know teacher donde lo veo pero no, i know oh. i uh, i have I have, I don't have, it's mini, mini laptop, no. Ah, it's a mini laptop. Oh, no, no, no. It's a big laptop. A big laptop. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Miguel, there you have the information. She has a big laptop. So my computer yes. is a mini laptop. Yes, it's, it's a small one. Okay, so what is the sentence? Bernardo's computer. But I think Bernardo is a smaller than Adriana's computer. That's right, Bernardo's is smaller than Adriana's computer. Okay, very good, that's excellent. Okay, so now do you have any question about comparatives? I guess we have said many examples, right? But do you have any questions about comparatives? Or no, so far so good? Todo bien hasta ahora, hasta ahorita todo bien. So far so good. Um, yes, so you say so far so good. Hasta ahorita todo bien. So far so good. So good. Okay, so far so good. All right, very good. If so everything so good. is so far so good, I really like it because I can see you, you understood the topic. All right, now let's go to the other uh, part, okay? Now the other part is not about comparatives. It's about something different, but let me pass the attendance before I forget. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. Okay, let's see, Ada. <laughs> Present teacher. Very good. Adriana. Present. Anna Michelle. Present. Angela. 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 No, she's not here. He hello, hello, teacher. No podía. My, uh, the microphone. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Darwin. Este <laughs> oh my goodness. Darwin. Present, teacher. Flor. Gloria? Here. Okay, Joanna? Lourdes? Present. Margarita? Mayra? Present, teacher. Miguel? Present, teacher. Nelson? Present, teacher. Um, let me see, Ophelia? Here, teacher. Okay, very good. Osmin? Present teacher. Rafael? Present. Rosa? Present. Sandra? Present teacher. Jansi? Sulma? Asalia? Here. Okay, uh, Ingrid? Present, teacher. And Susana. Okay. Sorry? Present, teacher. Present. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, so uh, we are going to uh, go to the next part of the class. And in the next part, uh, please, again, I want you to pay attention because we have something important in the next part too. Okay. So in the next part, um, let me show you something here. Okay. Uh, in the next part, here I have a little... Uh, chart. Okay, here I have a little chart. Can you see it? Lo oh, ver. Yes, Can you see it? yes, right. Okay, so it's listen. Yes. That's right. Here I have what we call conjunctions, okay? Conjunctions, okay? And what is a conjunction? What is a conjunction? Now let me tell you quickly. A, conjun a conjunction is a word or words that connect sentences or words. I repeat, is a word or words that connect sentences or 
words. Okay, very good. In the first one, we have, uh, we will study um, like seven conjunctions today, okay? And the name of these conjunction, conjunctions are coordinating conjunctions, okay? So let's start with the first one, four. In this case, uh, maybe we are accustomed uh, to using for with the meaning para or por, right? But in this case, the meaning of for is different. Okay, the meaning of for is, is different. All right, just give me a second here. The meaning of for is different. The meaning of for is because. And check the example. Check the example. Sam drank some water for he was thirsty. So the meaning of this is because. Sam drank some water because he was thirsty. Okay, thirsty is sediento. Good. Four. What do you see before uh, four? ¿Qué miran antes de la preposición? What do you see, be, uh, antes de la conjunción, sorry. What do you see before the conjunction? Coma. Mm, a coma, coma, right? So a coma is important before coordinating conjunctions, okay? Una coma es importante antes de las conjunciones coordinadas, okay? So in this case, we use a coma before four. And four is because Sam drank some water or he was thirsty. Sam drank some water because he was thirsty. It's the same purpose, okay? Second conjunction. Teacher, and, uh, question. In what is case, your question? Uh, yeah? If you don't have the comma, it's incorrect. Uh, it's incorrect. It's incorrect. Maybe, if we don't have the comma, it's incorrect. Uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe um, say because. Yes, if you say because, you don't need the comma. Okay. But the, okay. But the idea in this moment is to use the preposition for. Okay. 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 Uh, yes, yeah. I understand. Yeah, Thanks. but when Thanks. you say because, you don't need the comma. Okay. The comma is not necessary only before coordinating conjunctions, okay? Uh, okay, listen, something important here, uh, and I will say it in Spanish, okay? A veces usamos el for, pero no es para conectar dos oraciones, sino que para decir algo más. For example, um, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Ahí no vamos a poner una coma, porque no estamos conectando dos oraciones, sino que dos palabras, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's different. So in, but in this case, we are connecting two sentences. The first sentence, Sam drank some water. The second sentence, he was thirsty. He was. Two sentences, right? So we are connecting two sentences, okay? The preposition. Yeah, preposition. okay. Now we go to N. The meaning of N is in addition. And let's see. The example, I take milk and sugar in my tea. Si se fijan, N is connecting milk and sugar, right? Por eso no ponemos coma, milk and sugar. Pero si tuviéramos dos oraciones igual que arriba, so we put a coma before N, okay? But in this case, we don't put a coma because we have milk and sugar. So it's connecting two words, not two sentences, okay? Now, number three, nor. Nor. This means and not. Now check the example. Sarah doesn't like apples, nor does she like pears. In Spanish, you say, a Sara no le gustan ni las manzanas, ni le gustan las peras, okay? So, nor is ni in Spanish, okay? Nor is ni in Spanish. But something important here is that uh, we put, uh, we put, um, an auxiliary verb here. Después del nor ponemos un verbo auxiliar. Puede ser el does. Si es el pasado ponemos el did. All right, we put did. Yeah. For example, or we can put does or do maybe in some cases. Okay, it depends on the, on the tense. Depende del tiempo verbal que se esté usando. Okay. So any questions so far? Alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Any questions so far? No questions? So let's go to the next preposition, then to the next conjunction, sorry. The next one is bad. Bad is however. 
Sin embargo, pero. Now let's check the examples. All the children wanted to eat pizza. Coma, look, coma. But no one wanted to buy it. All right, but no one wanted to buy it. Yeah, pero nadie quería comprarla. But no one wanted to buy So we have a coma before bad. Or. Or is. Oh. Yeah, oh, like this. So check the example. And the meaning is either. We could go to a zoo. Or, y tenemos la coma antes, we could go to a theme park. All right? So two sentences. All right? Or. Teacher, yes? What is the meaning either? Either. It's like tampoco. Either. Tampoco. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So if you go to the context, we could go to a zoo or we could go to a theme park. Okay? So two options. Either, in this case, either is tampoco, but the meaning we, he, we give here is not tampoco. Okay? Or is oh. Okay? That's the intention here of this word. Okay? Yet. Yet is bad. Example. The weather was cold and wet. Yet, we enjoy very much. Uh, it's like bad. Es como decir bad. Pero disfrutamos mucho. But we enjoy very much. Yet, we enjoy very much. It's the same, all right? And the last one is so. So is therefore. So is así que. Así que. Okay, así que. He is sick. So, he is not going to a school. Y una coma antes siempre. He is sick, so he is not going to a school. Él está enfermo, así que no va a ir a la escuela. Okay? Yeah? So, he is not going to go to a school. And we have a coma before. Y tenemos una coma antes. Una consulta, teacher. ¿Por qué cuando a veces preguntan algo dicen no yet? Y, se, o sea, y te lo interpretan como todavía. No, that's different. That's different. In this case, is that, that's not a coordinating conjunction. That's an adverb, okay? En ese caso, no es una conjunción, es un adverbio. It's different. It's a different uh, purpose. Okay. Yeah, not yet. Entonces, like, es correcto decir no yet. Exactly. It's correct to in, say not in yet. In that case. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, it's correct to say not yet. Oh, okay. So, do we have any other question? No? Everything clear? Crystal clear? Like chocolate mm. or like milk? All, all the structure is. <laughs> like chocolate. All have the uh, comma, sentences. minus, minus preposition. Uh, sentences, comma, preposition, and sentences. Yeah. That's right. Uh, it's kind of the same question as Miguel, right? All have a comma before, says Miguel, I think. Okay? Yes. All of them have a comma before. Okay? All of them. When they are connecting sentences, cuando están conectando dos oraciones. But if they are only connecting words, the comma is not necessary. Pero si solo están conectando palabras, en algunos casos no es necesaria la coma. Like example number two. I take milk and sugar in my tea. Sugar in my tea is not a sentence, right? So I don't need the comma, okay? Any other question? No? I think you think it's clear and confused, or you think it's confusing. <laughs> okay, so um, Teacher, yes, tell me. Yo no escuché la explicación del so, del so y therefore. So is um, so is así que he is sick, so he is not going to a school. All right, él está enfermo, así que. No va a ir a la escuela. So, he is not going to go to a school. All right? And so, que debe ser así que. Así que. En español. Exactly. And we put a comma before. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. No problem. All right. So, uh, make a screenshot. Si quieren, hagan una captura porque eso no está en el manual. Okay? Traje esa explicación porque está más clara que la del manual. Okay? So if you want make a screenshot, si quieren hagan una captura, if you want make a screenshot.
either. ¿Qué, qué quiere decir, teacher? Ah, tampoco. But in this case, either doesn't make sense, okay, as a definition, because or is o in Spanish, okay? So we, the example is, we could go to a zoo or we could go to a theme park. It's like, to a theme park, sorry. It's like to have options, okay? We could do this or we could do that. Mm -hmm. Two different options, okay? To connect to these two sentences with different options, yeah? O sea, que ocupo or as, eh, después cuando hay dos oraciones. Y, yeah. e, e, y either eh, solamente cuando es una. Una sola. No, no. Either is like the definition for or. Lo que tiene en negro a la parte de cada... A las dos. Ajá, es la definición. Es como un sinónimo. Sí, it's like a synonym. Ajá. Yeah. Ah, ok. Yeah, okay. but the idea is to Thank use you. for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Ok. Okay, so did you make the screenshot? Did you make the screenshot? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, yes, then yes. it's time to work. Okay, so listen. Uh, on page number, um, I don't know if it's number 10. Okay, on page number 10, you have the explanation, okay? But I guess I gave you the explanation with examples. So let's go to exercise number eight. Exercise number eight. Okay, in exercise number eight, please add the corresponding punctuation to the sentences below. So you need to put the corresponding punctuation, okay, according to the explanation. Van a poner la puntuación de acuerdo a la explicación. So please do it quickly, individually. You need to put the commas basically, if necessary, okay? Put the commas if necessary. Uh, the sentences are on page number 11, okay? Page number 11.
Are you ready? Yes. 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 All right. Let's see quickly. Okay. Yes. Who wants to um, share uh, number one? And you tell me where you put the comma. All right. Number one. And you tell me where you put the comma. Number one. Me, teacher, Adriana. Okay, Adriana, all right. And you tell me where you put the comma, Adriana, please, okay? Okay. Let me let me share the, the, the material. Okay, hold on a second. All right, here. <laughs> okay, Adriana, go ahead. I go to expensive restaurant, comma, for their service and dishes are very good. Excellent. That's very good. So the comma is after restaurants and before four, right? After restaurants. I go to expensive restaurants, comma, for their service and dishes are very good. Thank you, Adriana. That's very good. Who wants to share number two? Who wants to share number two? Me too, sir. Okay, very good. Go ahead, Osmi. Okay. Restaurant needs to offer especially this shit, comma, and they have. Continue to offer. They, they have, okay. To offer take out in case you are in hurry. In a hurry, okay, in a hurry. So the comma mm -hmm. is after ditches right here on this space. Ditches, ditches. comma, okay, excellent. That's very good, Asmin. And, yeah. Okay, number three. Who's got number three? Volunteers? Me, teacher. All right, go ahead. And the delivery person arrived late, comma, so we got the food for free. Okay, repeat it, please. The delivery person arrived late, comma, so we got the food for free. That's right. Okay, that's excellent. So the comma is after late. Or between so and late, right? Between so and late, okay? Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. Very good. Now, the last activity for today. Okay, listen carefully here. Me, me permite. Yeah? En la... En el número dos. Yes. Usted dijo que cuando es y, no se pone coma. Cuando es, when is? Uh, antes de I, M, M, D, o sea, no se pone coma, porque es I, E, I. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that's right, it's correct. I said we don't put commas when we are connecting words, but when we are connecting sentences, we put commas, I said. And in this case, we are connecting sentences. The sentence number one is, restaurants need to offer specialty dishes. And sentence number two is, they have to offer takeout in case you are in a hurry. So in this case, we have two sentences and it's connecting two sentences. And when we have sentences, we need the comma, okay? Okay. Yeah. In, the, in the example teacher, in the last example, don't have a comma. Exactly, exactly, because we are connecting words, right? In the previous example, as Miguel said, we have no commas because we are connecting words, not sentences, okay? Teacher, um, yeah? Um, to offer take out, no lleva coma in. No, 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 not in this case, because in case is not a coordinating conjunction, so uh, it's not necessary. This so comma, yes, only one, only, after ditches, yes, yes. after ditches, exactly, after okay. ditches. Yeah, okay, so uh, any other doubt? Alguna otra duda? Do you have any other doubt? No doubts? Today's class has been very grammarly. <laughs> oh my goodness, a lot of grammar today, right? But anyways, it's part of the class. I uh, guess somebody said teacher? No, nobody said teacher? Okay, very good. Now uh, let's go to the last activity for today. So in the last activity for today is writing, writing. Okay, so you need to write. Everybody is going to write on the group. 
not only one person everybody is going to write okay what are you going to write it says write a 10 line review of your favorite restaurant okay so you're going to write a little or some description of your favorite restaurant what services do they offer what characteristics made this restaurant good so the idea is to use comparative adjectives so you are going to compare the restaurant okay maybe you can compare the the restaurant with all the restaurants if you want okay so i go for example you can say i go to uh wendy's because the food is uh, more delicious than burger king i don't know all right so it's about your favorite restaurant so for this we are going to work in groups of three or in pairs okay so decide please make a decision because you need to have the same paragraph Tomen una decisión en su equipo, en su pareja, o en su trío, porque deben tener el mismo párrafo todos. Everybody needs to have the same paragraph, ¿ok? So the idea is to use comparative adjectives. Cheaper than, more expensive than, more beautiful than. Yeah. Any question? Es un párrafo de 10 líneas. It's a 10 lines paragraph. Any question? No? Only one paragraph for the on, only one paragraph. Three? Sorry, for all for the group. Only one paragraph for the group. Mm. For the group, okay. For the group, but, because it's but, group work. But he's he say or or favorite restaurant, maybe. My <laughs> restaurant is not the favorite. <laughs> I don't know. My, rest, my favorite restaurant is not yeah. my classmate's favorite restaurant, you say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. true. It's true. So if you want, you can work individually, then no problem, okay? No <laughs> problem. Podemos hacerlo individual si quieren. Okay. okay. So you can start. Empecemos entonces. You can start. Do it individually then. Lo vamos a hacer individual entonces. It's individually, okay? Let's change a little bit. Teacher, solo queriendo ver si comprendí. Vamos a hacer un párrafo del restaurante que es como favorito nuestro. Yes. Aplicando las conjunciones. No, aplicando comparativos, que es el primer tema que vimos. Ah, sorry. More sí. beautiful than, cheaper than, more expensive okay. than, all right? Ok, thank you. En vez de more expensive, que es como más caro, podríamos decir también less. Less expensive, que es menos caro. En vez de more, podemos decir less, que es como lo contrario de more. Okay? More is the opposite of less. Son palabras contrarias. Okay? So you, you can see less expensive. Less expensive or than. Or cheaper. Yeah. Ah, es como menos caro que. Okay? Less expensive than. Mm -hmm. When you finish, we are going to listen to some paragraphs, okay? Cuando termine, vamos a escuchar a algunos leer sus párrafos. We are going to listen to some people reading their paragraphs. Uh, who has the one-on-one -on -one session today? ¿Quién está en la sesión uno a uno hoy? Me, teacher, Adriana. Oh, okay, perfect.
Uh, so please, in case uh, you finished, uh, try to practice the pronunciation of your paragraph, okay? If you finished, try to practice the pronunciation of your paragraph because some students will share with the class, okay? Algunos compartirán con la clase. Some people will share with the class. So please practice the pronunciation. Solo, I can see the orders. Uh, you finished, right? Yes, teacher. All right, so you can take a moment to practice the pronunciation of your paragraph, okay? Okay. All right. Pensé que era recreo, ticha. I'm sorry. No, no, Azalia, it was not break. <laughs> the problem is that uh, the lights uh, went out in my house, you know, a moment ago. And, and I got disconnected and I got connected again. That's, that's the reason why, okay? It's not a break, okay? It's not a break. <laughs> Pray and they happy children. Oh, it's true. Happy children say everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot that today is a uh, children's day. So did you celebrate with your children? The ones who have children? Children are in. Or yes, forever. Forever. Okay, with, you, my you. with my child, my children inside. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, yeah. you need to say we celebrate every day. <laughs> all life. <laughs> all, all life long, you can say all life long. Largo de toda la vida, all life long. <laughs> Yes, but today is a special day for them. I mean, we have different days. I mean, and we have we spend time with them every day. But today is a special day. I mean, to spend like a different time, let's say. Okay. So please, uh, when you finish, go to reactions and do me the favor to raise your hand, okay? Do me the favor to raise your hand when you finish. So I can see Miguel finished. So Miguel, you can take a moment to practice the pronunciation, okay?
Same for you, Adriana. You can practice the pronunciation of your paragraph, okay? Uh, do you think uh, you can finish in three minutes or you, you are still missing a lot? Do you think you can finish in three minutes or you're missing a lot? Le falta bastante. Are you missing a lot? No, not much. All right, so try, please try to close your paragraph in three minutes, all right? Try to close your paragraph in three minutes, please.
Okay, while well, you close your paragraph, let me pass the attendance quick, quickly, okay? So try to close your paragraph, please, all right? So let's start with the attendance. Ada? Present. Okay, thank you. Adriana? Present. All right, very good. Ana Michelle? Present. Thank you. Angela? Present teacher. Very good. Darwin? Present teacher. Excellent. Flor? Uh, Gloria? Here. Okay, that's excellent. Joanna? No, right, not here. Okay, Lourdes? Present teacher. All right. Margarita? Mayra? Present. All right. Miguel? Present teacher. Okay, that's excellent. Nelson? Present teacher. All right. Ophelia? Here teacher. All right, very good. Osmin? Present teacher. Great. Rafael? Present. Okay. Rosa? Rosa? Present. Okay, okay, okay. Sandra? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Jansi? Sulma? All right. Asalia? And, okay, Asalia, yes, right. Okay. Ingrid? Present. And Susana? Present teacher. Okay, everybody. Uh, so it's time and this uh, and, and, and these days I want to be very punctual. Okay, with your time, uh, it's 10 one already. And listen, uh, well, just maybe something something to add very quickly. Uh, please, for tomorrow, try to practice the pronunciation of your paragraph, okay? I mean, for Monday, sorry, and you don't say anything, right? I'm confused right. now. I feel tomorrow is Wednesday. <laughs> I bet it's all bad. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know why it's I feel Friday. tomorrow is Wednesday. <laughs> tomorrow is Friday. And, and she's confusing me, all right? Tomorrow and she's saying it's Friday. Saturday. <laughs> yeah, Saturday. All right. Very good. So, uh, so Teacher, then, uh, yeah. It's the Friday and the body is now. And the body it's, knows it. Uh, and the body knows it. <laughs> no, then we must rest, but I still need tomorrow. Oh my goodness! So you do you work tomorrow, Asali? <laughs> yes. No. no. Toca trabajar. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, you work tomorrow in the morning. I'm sorry about that. Yes. Okay. Very good. Uh, so everybody. Uh, so as I said, just practice the pronunciation of your paragraph for Monday, okay? And the first activity on Monday is to listen to some paragraphs, okay? Is to listen to some okay. paragraphs, okay? So then Adriana okay. has the one-on-one -on -one session today, right? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, so the rest, thank you for connecting. Good night and have a good weekend. Good night, teacher, good, good night. Teacher. Good all right, night. all right. All right, bye, take care. Bye. Bye. Be good people. Good night. Good night. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. <laughs> Thank you very much. You. See you Thank next you. week. See you on Monday. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Just let me put uh, Sandra in the waiting room because I, I can attend the one-on-one -on -one session if someone is connected, but now she is disconnected. Okay, so Adriana, so this space is for you. Um, okay, teacher, es una, la retroalimentación de la clase de hoy, quizás, es, eh, que vimos adjective eh, comparative. Comparative adjective, exactly. Adjective. Entonces, uh, para los... Bueno, voy a intentar hacerlo en inglés la mayor parte. Yeah, ok, perfecto. Eh, para, ¿cómo se dice? For. For eh, the objectives eh, that more to syllable, syllables. Uh, more than two syllables. Yeah, more than two syllables. Eh, Y 
you use Which maybe uh, the the uh, the use you use uh huh you come you use you use ah uh, you 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 use um before no antes before uh -huh, before. before before the adjective that words more more exactly mm -hmm. and for the adjective uh, one syllable or two in the rulers and the use yeah. in the u rules yeah but the first rules and and the most adjectives is you agree agregar you add you add you add i r and finally words the um, the adjective yeah and the second rule and the one and the adjective one syllable or two uh, or two syllable and that how the structure vowels consonant vowels no no for for the two syllables the two syllable adjectives which finish in letter y remember two syllable uh, adjectives which finish in letter y like pretty funny you omit the letter y and you put i e r p e r or funnier all right or uh, happier yeah. Ajá, ahorita estaba en la regla de si tiene la estructura del adjetivo. Ah, eh, ok. De consonant, consonant. Vowel, consonant. Ajá, pero one syllable. Me dijo que, ajá, one syllable. Ajá, one no, syllable. Pero, pero usted me dijo que habían adjetivos que podían tener los dos sílabos, las dos, eh, pues podían estar conformadas por dos sílabas. Y si la que tenía la mayor fuerza de voz, si tenía lo de consonant, vowel, consonant, este sí le iba, íbamos a hacer eso, de agregar la otra consonante. Yeah, I, but... R. Yeah, but this is not very common. This is not uh, very common. No, no, verdad, no muy common. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the last rule, rule is the adjective finally in Y, the two yeah. syllables. Syllables. Yeah. Uh huh. In the case, in, in the. Omitimos. We uh, maybe you can say we delete. Borramos. We delete. We delete. Uh, we delete the letter Y and the right on the add and the letter I E R. Exactly, like prettier, funnier, adjective. or happier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in these cases, it's true. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's perfect. And uh, remember, we have we have mm -hmm. one that is irregular, right? Or we have some irregular adjectives like good, you say better. Ah, for bad, yes. you say worse. And for far, you say ah, farther. Far, far, farther. Far. Uh -huh. So these are uh, irregular que, adjectives. Uh, we se confunde con padre, verdad? Father, father. Yes, father. yes. But you say far, 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 farther. No, farther, farther. Farther. Far, uh -huh. farther. Farther. It's different. It's different. Farther. Ah, uh, farther. Exactly. Exactly. Farther. Exactly. It's farther. So farther. they're different, right? Mm -hmm. Farther. Farther. Exactly. Okay. And don't uh, forget that. And don't forget that you put than after the adjective. More beautiful than. Prettier than. Yeah. Um, bigger than. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the the. And the conjunctions, conjunctions, yeah, conjunctions, Con coordinated conjunctions, conjunctions, yeah. conjunctions, conjunctions. Mm -hmm. And then conjunction, uh, I see, vimos, no, I see. We studied, maybe you can say. We studied, uh, we studied in for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Yes, teacher, I understand the classroom. Okay, very good. That's that's yeah, actually today. today's class. You understood today's class. Yeah, maybe the most um 
I feel uh, comparatives are not so complicated. Okay, maybe maybe the most complicated uh, part was the one about conjunctions, okay? because it's not very easy maybe to write or to think about one example using nor, for example, all right, or using yet. Okay, I mean as conjunctions. I mean it's it's a little difficult. Okay. Maybe uh, the idea would be like to practice writing examples using the conjunctions, just to improve that part. Uh, bueno, aunque teacher, yo sí, tuve una, una pequeña duda cuando empecé a escribir, puse, I like the Taurino restaurant because it's bigger than other restaurants. Yeah. For example, Cebollino restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's correct, teacher. Es que, it's correct. Yeah, it's correct. Es, yo me confundí Even... con el because, yeah, como it's okay. Solo estamos diciendo cabal los ejemplos. Vaya, eh, como Darwin is taller, is taller than Azalia. Ya. Yeah. Entonces no habíamos puesto en medio de Darwin, eh, digamos, because, algo así. Entonces yeah. no sabía estaba. No, correcto. no, but the example you are saying is okay. Even you can use the preposition for. Say the example again, please. I mean, the, the conjunction. I for. like the Taurino restaurant for is bigger than other restaurant. Yeah. For example, Cebollines restaurant. Yeah, for uh, is. It's bigger it, than other restaurants, but you need to put the comma before the for. Is the conjunction, uh -huh. okay? Yeah, uh -huh. but you can say it. Uh, the, the second, the two option is correct. The two options are correct. So you can put because or for. But when you put for, you need the comma before for, okay? Uh, and they use because, uh, because and not use comma. No comma, no comma needed. No mm -hmm. comma needed, yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah, that would be maybe the, uh, the difference. Mm -hmm. Ahora tengo una, on, on, otra pregunta. Okay. Uh, what difficult is intermedio modem? <laughs> <laughs> Obvio, obviously. Hace un poquito de miedo cuando ya digo que soy en el nivel intermedio. Uno sí, no, no, como, I mean, a yeah, a, I, algo I de nervio. yeah, no, um, no, I mean, it's about, it's kind of the same, I mean, the same structure of the, of the book. Básicamente la misma estructura del libro. Tal vez lo que va subiendo un poquito son los contenidos. Si se fijan, ahora vimos conjunctions, que es algo, es algo nuevo quizás para muchos, ¿ok? Y los usos de las conjunctions. Eh, y los, el comparative, ¿ok? Que ya va subiendo un poquito. Y el vocabulario, que obviamente tiene que ir subiendo un poquito también el nivel. Uh, but, I mean, it's about getting used to it. Es de costumbre, más que todo, al contenido que vamos a ir estudiando. It's about getting used to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Not a big thing, okay? No la gran cosa, not a big thing. Okay, teacher. Yeah. Um, I don't have question. Okay, so... um. Thank you very much, then Adriana, for staying and connecting in the one-on-one -on -one session, okay? And well, have a good weekend and good night. Good night, teacher. Goodbye, Thank take you. care. See you on Monday, no problem. Okay, teacher, see you, okay. see you Monday. See you on Monday, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.